we're bringing it back to my wannabe fashion blogger days. <laughs> and I have a haul for you. This is a slightly unconventional type haul. It's really more of a haul slash collection, ballet wear collection video. A lot of it is stuff that I've owned since last year, starting my ballet journey and dance journey. You know, I don't own or buy a lot of ballet gear, but over the past year or so, I have created a little bit of a collection. So I figured I would smash it all together into a ballet wear collection slash haul. And don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna be saving the very best for last, okay? So stick around. Let's start with the most fun category, which is of course, leotards. This little guy was actually my very first leotard ever. It's just a plain black leo with mesh quarter length sleeves. This I just picked up from Broadway Dance Center. Up until that point I had just been wearing yoga pants and random things to dance class but that was the moment where I was like you know what this is becoming a very serious hobby for me so I think it's time that I dress the part. And then it all went downhill from there. This is one of my favorite leotards. It's the most simple, but it fits the best. It's super comfortable. It's just a plain block cami leotard that I got from Discount Dance. I have a really hard time finding leotards that don't squeeze my butt so hard that it gives me four butt cheeks. The plain block cami leotards from Discount Dance are very good for that. And my other all-time favorite is another block cami, but this is their Morella line. So whereas these two black ones are that more like shiny material, I forget the name of it, um, this is more cotton. I will say I find this one to be a little bit more squeezy. There's something about the Morella versus the non Barella line, I don't know what the difference is, uh, that just fits a little tighter, but it is what it is. This sassy little number is one that I just recently got for Christmas. I really love the periwinkle color. Very fun addition to my dance wardrobe, and I love the low back of it. At first, I was a little hesitant because if you don't stand just perfectly, then it kind of creases in on the sides and folds out in this weird way. But actually, I've grown to really love that because it helps me stay in proper alignment. So the second I start hunching, then we get those creases, but as long as I'm staying upright and keeping everything secure, then it's just a beautiful low back. It's actually kind of a little hack that's helped me improve my posture during ballet. This is also from Discount Dance, I believe. It's the Maria Crown line. Love it, love the color, but again, the fit is a little bit squeezy on the butt cheeks, the old booty. So just something to keep in mind. This is the most recent addition to my ballet wardrobe. In fact, I haven't even taken the tags off yet. Pretty little lavender plain cami leotard. Trying to expand my color palette a little bit with ballet, so I thought lavender could be a nice new addition. This one is from Capizio. Ooh, and then my favorite leotard, a super recent and exciting addition to my ballet wardrobe, is my Yumiko. I recently got this for my birthday with a little gift card that I got, and this is the Julia cut. It's a halter neckline, which I absolutely door as expensive as Yumiko leotards are I would say the construction of them is very beautiful very comfy and I was also very lucky because I actually found this on the sale rack in the Yumiko flagship store here in New York City so I think I got this for like 40 bucks and if you know Yumiko you know that's 
a steal because they're normally at least a hundred dollars but i did also get another custom leotard it has yet to come i learned very quickly that ordering the customs is very fun but it takes like six to eight weeks or something for production and delivery and all that crazy stuff so uh yeah it's gonna be a little while before i can show you that one but it's very pretty just wanted to share a friendly little reminder very quickly too when it comes to leotard shopping be kind to yourself and your body and please don't take it on yourself i know sometimes looking at the size on the label can make us feel a little bad i know it can make me feel a certain way depending on you know how i'm doing with my body image that day but yeah i mean all of these leotards are completely different sizes in some leotard brands i'm a medium in other leotard brand in in yumiko i'm an extra large which quite frankly i think is pretty ridiculous and i as much as I love Yumiko, I would really love for them to expand their sizing just a little bit. Sizing doesn't matter. It says nothing about you and your body. It's more reflective of the brand and their size guides and standards. So yeah, just a friendly little reminder. Be kind to yourself when you're leotard shopping. Okay, now I'm going to move on to warm-ups, pants, shorts, all the fun things. I got these a few months ago. They are Paloma Wool. I think they're the Kalisa shorts or something like that, but they're the prettiest little point tail lace shorts. Bloomers, if you will. I think I found these on Scents or The Real Real or something. They were super on sale and I have wanted shorts like this for the longest time. I wanted something from Paloma Wool for the longest time, but yeah, normally I don't love to spend my money on that. It's pretty funny for someone who used to run a fashion blog and be buying clothes constantly. I don't really like spending my money on clothes anymore. Yeah, I try and be more intentional about the things that I bring in and I make sure that they're things that I really, really love. Another more recent pickup are these trash bag shorts from Capizio, which I really love. These are just a good throw over. They keep my muscles very, very warm, which has been particularly important to me recently because I keep overstretching and injuring myself. So hot tip, don't do that. And then I also picked up the pants version of those shorts just for you know days when i want all of my legs covered that came, it sounded kind of weird the way i said that i only have two legs no more than that favorite warm-up pants that i have are these from worldwide ballet i get questions on them all the time they're near and dear to my heart these were a christmas present last year and if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen these more times than you can count because I wear them basically to every class. <laughs> and then my last little pair of warm-up pants, these are also classic, iconic. They're these wear moi patchwork pants. Oh my gosh, these are these are actually probably my favorite. I love the pink ones. Don't tell the pink ones. But yeah, I have a special connection to these. But I actually got these at the Capizio store in New York. That is a place that you can find these occasionally. But I just love how they have this little skirt up at the top. They're so funky and cool. I just have a couple of warm-up tops. This little knitted crop top from Capizio. I've had this since last year. I don't wear it that often. I feel like I don't wear this enough. I kind of forget that I have it sometimes but it's the Capizio Harmony line. So, yeah. And it always has pit stains on it, which is so fun. Maybe that's why I don't wear it. <laughs> and then this is my go-to little ballet shrug from, also from Capizio, I think. No, this is from Block. Uh, ultimately, I would like to get more colors of this because this is just the easiest, simplest thing. And honestly, I throw this over actual clothes a lot of the time, so from the studio to the street 
it's a cute one. I also have a small but ever-growing collection of leg warmers. These are a go-to for me. These super, super long, I think these are the 36 inch, I could be wrong about that. The longest of the long leg warmers that Capizio does. They're so soft, so comfy. Now that I have my point shoes, which we'll get to, they're just so sweet over my point shoes. These are just a simple pink pair. They're honestly from Forever 21 and I got them probably over 10 years ago when the inner ballerina in me was crying out but not yet discovered. So yeah, they're super old and I don't really shop with Forever 21 anymore, but it's a holdout, a wardrobe holdout, you know? These are my all-time favorite. These were a gift from my sister for Christmas this year and they're the Intermezzo knitted leg warmers. I had my eye on these for the longest time because I saw Parallel Princess on Instagram wearing them all the time and I just thought, oh my goodness, those are the cutest freaking leg warmers in the world. I must have. Okay, then I have a couple of fun little sets and unitard things that I want to show you. This was honestly the first warm-up set that I got. This is from Athleta and they're the Grace pants. They're kind of like snow pants. They're a little bit larger than I would like them to be so they're kind of, they're very loud and proud, you know what I mean. Those are the pants and then it comes with this little matching zip-up half zip. I'm actually glad that I'm doing this because it's reminding me of everything that I have and it's making me excited to create some new ballet outfits. I also have these two adorable little unitard jumpsuit things. This is from a brand called Slowly which She's super sweet, it's a little startup brand, and she sent me over some of her pieces for me to try, and I am head over heels. Like, every time I go to Pilates or yoga, I'm kinda like on my off training days, lengthening and strengthening days, as I like to call them. This is my go-to, it's so comfy. I constantly get compliments on it every time I wear it. And then she also sent me Oh, this blue one, and it's shorts, it's like biker shorts. I haven't even really broken into this one yet just because it's been too cold, but like they both have these super adorable strappy backs. They're just fun. And this one I'll actually probably wear to my ballet classes once it gets a little hotter. That's the majority of my actual warm-up pieces, dance wear, ballet wear, but I have a few other fun things to share. If you didn't hear, which you probably have because I have not been shy about it, I got my first pair of point shoes. I mean, would it be a ballet haul if I didn't share these? Come on, sorry, I just can't help myself. They're officially sewn. I have officially danced on them my first time ever. I'll be sharing a ton more about that in the future, so be patient. But yes, in case you haven't heard yet, I got the Block Euro Stretch. I'm a size five and a half double X, and I think they're beautiful. They're just magical. And then they recommended when I bought them that you should get a little mesh bag to keep them in and air them out. So I actually already had this little mesh grocery bag. So uh, yeah, that this is what I'm gonna keep my point shoes in. And then I've, I'm also just keeping my toe pads and whatnot in there. And a little sewing kit. Just heaven forbid something comes undone mid-class. I thought that would be a good thing to just keep on me at all times. I also get questions a lot on what soft shoes I like to use and I use two different kinds depending on the day. I really like the Block Performa canvas shoes and then the Sancha split soles. I'm a big fan of a split sole but I just find that more enjoyable for some reason. 
Uh, okay. Sounded like something was in my wall, which is always concerning. As I said, I was gonna share the best for last. You might already know that I have been working on a fitness, ballet wear collection of my own. I have so many big plans for things that I wanna add to this line and the directions and stuff that I wanna go, but for now, I have started by designing some hats. And they're so freaking cute. <laughs> you probably got a little sneak peek if you watched my holiday adult ballet workshop video, which I'll link here. But yeah, they are officially launched and ready to go. I am so proud of these. I think they came out so freaking cute. We have the off-duty ballerina dad hat in this charcoal, weathered, worn-in, black, gray kind of color. And then, my personal favorite, we have the adult ballerina club hat. It's beige with this really pretty light blue script. I have been wearing both of these hats non-stop. Yeah, pretty much every day I'm getting dressed and I'm just like, I don't know, should I throw on a little hat? And the answer is always yes. Yes, I should. I really find that training so much between dancing and all my fitness classes, Pilates, yoga, all the things, the most stressful, annoying thing is dealing with my hair. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's clean for all of 20 minutes and then it's just greasy and gross and sweaty again. So, I feel like having something to throw on over that when you're having a ballet hair day, it's perfect. They are available now, but I will say they have been on pre-sale for Slipper Edit subscribers. So there's only a couple of both of these left, but if I get more back in stock requests, then I might restock them. So yeah. Go get them while you still can. Let me know if you wanna see these again or if you wanna see other colors or something. I wanna create something that you would really love to wear. Anyway, that's my little haul. That's my ballet wear collection video. I hope that you liked it. I don't know. I never know how to end these videos. So glad I'm not trying to be a fashion blogger anymore. It's just really not my thing. But this one was fun because, you know, getting dressed for ballet is just half the fun, isn't it? So now that I am reminded of all the fabulous stuff that I have and all the different combinations I can make, I'm probably gonna end up doing a week of ballet outfits video or something like that coming up in the near future. So. If you're not subscribed, make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss that. I'll see you very soon with another video, but until then, keep following your dreams and have a lovely day. Bye.